Hey, welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you stopping by. You got here just in time. It is Thanksgiving weekend, 2021. And rather than sit or, sitting around getting fat, eating a bunch of turkey, we loaded up the motor home and we went to Lake Whitney, to Whitney Lake. And right now, I find myself hanging out at Kimball Bend Park on Whitney Lake. This is a Corps of Engineer campground. This is the farthest point north. I got Little Red, the high speed mobility scooter. I have the GoPro Hero 9 with the Max Lens mod, so it'll make it look like I really know what I'm doing with the exception of the really bad lighting today, and that is outside of my control. We're gonna hop on Little Red and we're gonna go check out Kimball Bend Park, Whitney Lake. Let's go cue that music. They actually have a gate attendant here at Kimball Bend Park today. This is a pretty little park. I've never been to this park. I grew up going to Lake Whitney, but I never visited Kimball Bend Park as a child. There are ruins from the community of Kimball. Kimball Bend was actually one of the crossings. It's on the Chisholm Trail. As I mentioned before, we're at the northern northernmost point of Whitney Lake where the Brazos River actually turns into Whitney Lake. Not a huge park, there's only about 35 campsites. And a boat ramp. Very pretty though. We're gonna cruise over to the boat ramp first, and then we'll check out the campsites. You got the dump station here on your right. Restrooms on the left. They were very, very clean when we arrived. Now this, this park does flood when the lake gets up. And you'll be able to see how much it floods if you're going under this bridge. You can see logs hung up in the understructure of the bridge. That can't be good. We'll stop twice next time, I promise. Today. Yeah, really cold. Now the Brazos River has a very high saline content and is not normally, the water is non potable. But it sure is good for striper fishing. There's your boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. Let's go check out some campsites. How are y'all doing? Yeah. All right, we want to go 
angle backwards so that you can get a good look at all these campsites which means we got to backtrack a little bit historical marker here, which is what that is, talking about the Chisholm Trail and the community of Kimball. Uh oh, that was change in elevation on the camera. We're gonna go this way first. I've been very happy with the campsites here. They do have rock and gravel pads, but they're, they're very lovely. They all have, as you can see, a structure over the picnic table. Families camping this weekend. It's a great way to spend Thanksgiving. All right, so that's the inner loop. Now we'll get the outer loop. The outer loop is where they've got a great play structure. In case you, in case you didn't notice that, the outer loop is where you're going to find your water side water access campsites. There's Trudy. Trudy Thunder the Super Sea. And when I was booking my reservations, there were no water side sites available. So it seems that maybe some folks decided not to come down here. Because there are several that are open. Site number 28, in case you're wondering, what would be the best site? I think site number 28 would be the one. Backtrack a little one more time. We'll go fast this time. this campsite we are going to visit two other Corps of Engineer campgrounds or parks on Whitney Lake. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. The, the first of those will be Plowman Creek and that'll be next Wednesday. So stay tuned for Plowman Creek. Those are always so much fun. Especially, especially when you're with me. All right, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I never would have come to Kimball Bend Park if it wasn't for you guys. I appreciate that honor. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?